A local fifth grader has one of the rarest conditions on the planet. Doctors didn't expect her to live past the age of two. But now she is defying the odds with the help of and possibly even because of her love for Justin Bieber. KPTV's Caitlin Bullock joins us now with the story you'll see only on 12. Caitlin? Well, this weekend, teens all across the Portland metro area rush to buy tickets to catch Justin Bieber in concert here at the Rose Quarter when he's in town this October. And we met one very special little girl who's also hoping she gets a chance to meet the idol that's changed her life. When you say the name Justin Bieber, I like his singing. There's a sudden, he's really cute, and not so subtle reaction. He's awesome. <laughs> shared by young girls across the nation. I really, really like Justin Bieber. <laughs> there you go. But there's perhaps no bigger Bieber fan than 11-year-old Megan Ham. You'd like to meet the Bieber? Yes. <laughs> Whose Bieber fever has spiked a medical breakthrough. I can say, well, you get through this, we can listen to Justin Bieber. Her teachers at Hearthwood Elementary stumbled across her love for the Biebs on accident one day when his song popped up on the radio. And now she can't get enough because playing this music is one of the only ways she shows emotion. Justin Bieber just does it, so <laughs> it's a good thing to see her so relaxed. You see, this reaction is a big deal. Doctors never thought it to be possible. In fact, doctors never even thought Megan would live this long after she was diagnosed with an extremely rare condition called lysencephaly. We've just taken every step that we can to make her quality of life better and longer. Um, but it's still the, you know, waking up every morning, making, you know, hoping that she's still here with us. Only 1,500 kids worldwide have it, and most don't survive. Yeah, she's had as many as 70 seizures in a day. Megan is severely neurologically impaired. She will never be able to walk and never be able to talk. It took us a long time to really, truly understand it. But for some unexplainable reason, Every time she sees or even hears Justin Bieber, all science goes out the window. We never thought that we would feel that. From what the yeah. doctor said at the beginning, you know, it was... Uh, she would just, show no emotions or yeah. anything, and that's and not true. So now her family members have all become believers because for a moment, they get to see Megan react like any other girl her age. And they get to see this incredible smile. It makes me want to cry. Uh, makes me happy. Uh, when she's happy, I'm happy. When she's healthy, I'm happy. So it's a, uh, it's a pretty big deal. And because Megan is also visually impaired, it will be hard for her to see or really enjoy the concert this October if she's sitting in the handicapped seats here at the Rose Quarter. So her family, friends and teachers and fellow students are really hoping there's just some way she can get a bit closer to the stage and possibly even meet Justin Bieber himself. They say that would simply mean the world to her. Reporting live, Caitlin Bolduck, the 10 o'clock news.